Hello and welcome to Reema's Garden. I am Reema Gopalan. In our previous few videos, we have studied about cuttings and how to propagate them uh, and the propagation techniques. Today, we are going to go further in detail about propagation. And today, we are going to discuss about air layering. You have heard this concept. So, now I am going to explain what air layering is. But before that, Let's understand the entire concept, okay? See, this is a uh, money plant, pothos, as you know. And here you can see the roots, okay? And many of you have propagated money plant. It is the easiest thing to do. What, I, uh, what you can do is you can just cut it from here, place it in the water or in the soil and these roots grow further, okay? So it's one of the most common things. but why i showed you this is because you can see the roots okay so you know already that they can grow whether you place it in water or soil they'll grow and they'll catch fast now the second thing comes is the propagation by cuttings now what we do we take stem cuttings when is it ideal now look at a plant like this this is coleus look at it so now what i do see it has n number of branches one two three four five so what i do is i can cut the tip i mean um two three inches I'll cut it here, I'll place it in uh, soil and I'll have a new plant. The roots will develop and I'll have a new plant. So cuttings work fabulously, propagation by cuttings work fabulously. But now, have a look at this plant, Drakena. It's so beautiful, but what is the challenge here? See, there is always a 80, 20 or 70, 30 chance that your uh, propagation by cuttings are successful. 30% of the times they are not. So what happens is, when it is something like a coleus having n number of branches, it's okay. Something uh, doesn't propagate, doesn't matter. So the mother plant is good, unaffected, it will keep growing. No problem if the cuttings don't grow well. Now what happens when we take a plant like this? See, it has got only two branches you can see one and two and if i cut one place it in the soil and for some reason it is not able to grow the roots now what happens i have hampered the plant a lot so in order to reduce the risk or assume even further there is just one branch then the risk is way too much and you are not sure if you want to do it or not so now what happens is the air layering comes into picture. Layering, what is layering? See, layering is basically, I told you, you can put it into soil or water. This plant is connected and in this, in this soil, uh, in this pot, in the soil. So what I'm doing is if I simply put this and insert this branch here in this soil, the roots will catch hold in this soil and soon I'll have a new plant growing further and I can uh, detach it from the mother plant. Okay. Now that is layering. When it goes into the ground. What is air layering is when you, when you let the plant develop roots when it is connected to the mother plant and without touching the soil. Now how do you do that? Now suppose I want, I'm taking this. Okay. Uh, this stem and i want to propagate this stem so what i'll do is i take a ball of soil okay wet soil i'll scratch the stem i'll apply the soil here and i'll enclose the entire thing okay and uh, i'll water it occasionally and the roots will develop from here i'll have a look at the images So this is how the roots develop in the air layering. So once the roots have developed on this stem, what I'll be doing is I'll, I'll be just cutting it off from here and putting it in the soil so that now I know 99.99% that this plant is going to be a successful second plant. Okay. Thank you.